We do about 1,350 services a year. Veteran and Fort Bliss National Cemetery employee Jaime Salome remembers when he used to march here as part of a Marine Corps Honor Guard. The grass was pretty patchy. Uh, when we'd march out here, we'd leave with thorns in our dress uniforms. After fighting the region's desert environment for decades, in 2004, the Veterans Administration began a five-year process of removing grass, adding native plants, and creating a gravel landscape. You know, there was a lot of backlash. I mean, we had everything from death threats to being cursed out by old angry ladies. With our time and uh, a lot of our work and, uh, you know, what you see here, they, they appreciate it. Now, now we're getting a lot more compliments. Ruben Baca, like many who work here, had a personal stake in the transformation. I have a lot of family managers, cousins. Also, my father, he was World War II uh, era, so yeah. I have a, an uncle and aunt, and I also have uh, friends that I serve with in the Marine Corps interred here. I hope that I'm interred here someday. You know, I think it's a beautiful cemetery. No, it doesn't have, you know, the lush green grass, but that's not the environment we're in. The new landscape cut water use by 90 percent, or 56 million gallons a year. The plants are drought tolerant, the irrigation targeted through bubblers and a drip system. The gravel itself is groomed as meticulously as any golf course. We actually have these little vehicles with five rakes on it. So that takes away the tracks and leaves it like it's like, oh, there's nobody been here. It's very uniform, it's very clean, and uh, I think people are coming around to it. Almost all of us are veterans, so it's like veterans taking care of veterans, so we're proud of this place. It's very, uh, I say, it's personal.